Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh my God, I literally forgot to do an intro for this video. How are y'all doing? What's going on? I'm not sure what this title is going to be in this video is yet, but let's call it a chit chat, get together, summer, full beat, soft glam. Not sure what's going on. Ignore my eyebrows. I was literally playing around with a new eyebrow products and I was like, I haven't recorded an intro for the video I just filmed. So this is it in the video. I'm um, not sure what's going on with the brows. I'll try to use like a new product, but ciao. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, definitely comment down below as you're watching. And if you want to see how I got this look, minus the brows, keep on watching. <laughs> So what is going on? If you guys can hear the fan, guys, it's so hot in London. It's too, too much. There's a heat wave. The houses in the UK don't have AC. But what's going on? I'm not sure what I'm gonna talk with this video. I think it'll probably be like you know a summer girl routine mixed with a bit of essentials. I'm not sure, but it's gonna it's gonna be a bit of updates, new makeup, new things. We can we can like chat along. I'm not sure what the title's gonna be, but let, let's, let's just get into it, poo. So I'm gonna be using some new makeup. So I bought this Hermes lip balm. So I'm gonna use this, it's actually so, oh, child. This wasn't that expensive because I had Harrow's points, but it's such a nice lip balm. I just gonna make sure my skin, and my lips are well hydrated because they're really dry. Packaging though, let me show you the packaging. It is so freaking nice. It's like that, it's magnetic, and it comes in a little Hermes pouch. And it comes with a little orange box as well. How have you guys been? I know it's been so long. Actually, the stunt products I haven't shown you. This is the, the, the Ness, what's this called? The Vanessa Myricks Universal Yummy Skin Balm. Like, this is so good as a primer. Um, it's supposed to like help control oil as well, be a primer. There's colorful versions. I've got number, well, she's only all of them, but I'll use Universal and number nine. But um, I haven't worked by itself, but this is so nice, guys. But anyway, um. How have you guys been? Thank you so much for some. Thank you so much for the love on the lash launch video. The lashes actually launched a while ago, and I was meant to upload that video, but like, oh, it was just the files and me uploading it. I know we've got like excuse, but it really was an issue. But it's fine. It's fine. We're here now. Um, I'm trying to think if I want to do a corrector. Hmm. I've got a bit of darkness around now, so I'm going to do a tiny bit of corrector. But anyway, I know I've been... Uh, it's kind of upsetting me because you guys know how much I love YouTube. I don't know. I feel like you guys know I'm getting older now. And I've been doing YouTube for such a long time. And I feel like... I'm not sure if I've missed the error of this, you know, like, really having a moment on YouTube. I know I love you guys so much. And I'm always so happy when you guys are so invested and, like, the comments and stuff. But, like... She just comes in and she thinks she's taking over. It's like, who are you? I don't know, I actually saw a comment yesterday in one of the videos being like, if YouTube is rewarding you, don't put it as a main priority. And it's just so true because you guys remember, remember, when I, remember those times, yeah, where I was banging out content. I was literally, oh, how do I blend this out? I was literally like uploading every single day. I was doing the most, I was actually burning myself out. And obviously you earn money on YouTube, but I feel like for some reason, the American girlies definitely earn more. It, it just depends on where you reach in this, but like, I know people who do YouTube here, people that have got more subscribers than me. And when the people in America speak out how much money they're earning or whatever, it just doesn't make any... Oh God, this looks too orange. I put too much corrector on. What am I doing? I'm going to use a bit of Snars Soft Matte. But anyway, um, it de I definitely think if you are in America, it's a bit easier because I just feel like for makeup in general, if you're in America, the demographic there is just so much better. But I'm not going to stop YouTube. I just... I just won't as, upload as much as I used to just because, you know, I think social media is changing. There's this, you know, Raw Beauty Christy, she actually did a video which my friend Danny told me to watch. Danny, you know Danny who went to where it's around me with. And it was just so interesting where she spoke about how YouTube and the whole beauty space has like changed. Because I don't think I was on YouTube at this time where um she said that people wanted shorter form content on YouTube. And then it changed to people wanting longer form content, which... I always just thought YouTube has been longer form, but I do think everyone's attention span is a bit crazy. Obviously, if you're watching this, definitely comment on below. Do you still watch long, long form YouTube videos? Do you like it short? Do you like YouTube shorts? Because I've been feeling to post on there a bit because apparently if you post on YouTube shorts, YouTube will really try and push you. But I'm not sure if you guys would like that. Let me guys know if you've actually come across a YouTube shorts or anything. Like, it'd be really interesting to know. But I miss you guys so much and... I don't know, like, I feel like this, I know a lot of you guys keep asking when the new Sip and Slay is going to be. Is this camera, does my camera need to be a bit lower? 
Let me lower it a tiny bit because it's giving me, I don't know, I feel really short on my, my chair. So I'm, that is much better. But anyway, um, what was I talking about? Yes, everyone's keep talking about sip and slay, and for the, I'm not gonna lie, I was actually gonna stop doing sip and slays because I just felt like it was a bit much on me, and it wasn't for, it wasn't for you guys because I was promising you guys something and I wasn't delivering, and it's just like I just felt like maybe me saying I'll do it every Friday was a bit much because now we're outside and it's just very hard to commit to something. But I do want to do them because I just miss doing lives. I'm such a live person, so maybe I try and think of when I can do it. Even if it's like once a month or twice a month, but maybe stick to dates where I know I'll be able to do it. But you guys know I've been outside. The holidays have been holidaying. So I'm going to use this. This is from Hermes. This is called the Hermes Plein Air um, Balm de Tint Perfecter Natural Enhancing Complexion Balm. I bought this in Harrods. I was just in Harrods one day and, you know, I've, listen, if, you, if you're if from the UK, get a Harrods card. This was quite pricey, I'm not gonna lie. But um, I have this guy on Instagram stories was speaking about it, so I thought, let's try this. Um, I got the shade 90. I know this is gonna be too red because French houses always do things that are too red. Let's put this on. That's what it looks like. It looks so red, oh my God. Okay, I'm just gonna do that much. And let's see what this looks like. This is gonna be a first impressions. See, look how red it is. Let's build this up. I'm using this Clinique foundation brush. Oh, this is really sheer. Oh my God. This is sheer as hell. What the hell? Are you mad? No, this is so red. Hold on, let me turn this off. What, I turn this off? Ah! This is red as hell, guys. This is, look how red it is. I know I've got corrector on, but let's put some on the other side. I want, I want something a bit more full coverage than this. It's, it's too red. They did have 85, but I didn't have that in stock, which looked a bit more, mm, no, this is so red. Oh my God, I'm not sure if I'm feeling this. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, I actually hate the color of this. There's many things I say I hate the color, but it's just I don't use foundations. Dude. Look how red it is. Oh. I could get one of those things to neutralize it, but I'm gonna go in a bit of the Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer. This is in the shade 50W, no 50N. Like, no. Yeah, I'm gonna go in a bit in with this because I'm not feeling the shade. I love the formula of it. I think it's really nice, especially for summer, but no, I look so orange. I'm gonna put a bit on top because it's throwing me off and I just feel like, oh, it makes me wanna start the whole video again. Okay, so I kind of rectified the foundation. I do love the Hermes foundation. It feels really nice, but the colors just way off. I love the formula. It's still, oh, it's still really red. I feel like I'm gonna use some concealer to brighten up the, um, my face. So I'm gonna use the one size 10 up the base concealer. Um, I've actually got a new shade when I went to Miami. This is medium dark. Um, I remember I got a shade before, but you know when like, okay, I love a bright under eye, but the shade was just a bit too bright. I was going to use the Huda Beauty Concealer, which I have been loving. I might use that if I feel like this is enough coverage. I'm not going to put the concealer here. I'm, I've been loving, oh, that's a bit too much there. I've been loving taking the concealer out this down here and then blending it out because I think sometimes when I take the concealer out there, it makes my face look a bit too wide, you know? This concealer is drying down so fast. <gasps> oh my God. I cannot believe how fast this concealer is drying down. Like, it hasn't even been on for like maybe 40 seconds and it's drying down so fast. But I like it though. But wow, I don't really like concealers that don't really give you too much time. But it is called Turn Up The Base for a reason. Is it called Turn Up The Base? Yeah, Turn Up The Base. I really want to try setting spray. This concealer. I'm not sure if it's because my fans are not drying it down, but <gasps> the color. I am freaking obsessed. Like, it's so matte, but like, it looks insane. Why? I feel like I haven't really tried this concealer to its full potential, but I'm obsessed. Stop. Stop. Okay, so I literally just went with a brighter shade. I went with medium 3G. <laughs> this concealer is so light, I could never use this by itself. I would look so mad. I know I keep going about this concealer, but oh, and okay, getting back to YouTube and stuff, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so I received this comment not too long ago, and it was like, oh, Gary, you need to do YouTube, you need to do this, this and that. And then this person didn't follow me. I just thought, okay, maybe she just like watches my YouTube and doesn't follow me on Instagram. So then sometimes you can like see, I tried to see if her username was the same, but I, had, I couldn't find it. But then 
like I went into her, I went into her Instagram to see who she followed. See, she followed any like other black creators when she never. The only people she followed was. I don't want to say I don't want to name drop anyone but she was following just you know if you know the click of YouTube and who's up there the light skin girls and I just thought it's just crazy because you have all these people being like yeah do YouTube we love you blah blah but sometimes it's your own people that won't be supporting you I'm not saying I'm not attacking anyone I'm not saying to you guys but like I feel like that's the, with anyone like it'll be the people that be like oh my god like do YouTube do YouTube but are you by you telling me, are you the ones that's watching all my videos to the end and click and not clicking for the ad? Or are you watching the other girls who are lighter than you? Because, not that, it's a, I'm not saying that anything else, like it's a complex, but it's like, you're saying that to me, but are you watching my videos? Are you watching the other black creators videos you're saying? And it's just like, it just isn't making any sense. Like on YouTube, like, I find that I do watch YouTube and I try and watch a whole lot of new people, like on Sundays and stuff, if I'm watching vlogs or make a content, but, as I was saying with Raw Beauty Chris's video, she was saying that YouTube has changed. Ooh. She was saying that people just don't ooh. people just don't consume beauty like they do on YouTube as they did anymore. Like people watch vlogs, um, like ghost horror stories. People normally go to TikTok, and I think TikTok is so different to YouTube. I feel like there's nothing out there that's gonna really take on long form content, even though TikTok's trying to do that. I'm gonna use this. Vanessa Myrick's contour. I don't think I have a new contour. I do. I do not. So I've been loving this recently. I literally just um, I done a video on TikTok comparing it to the Charlotte Tilbury, and this is so nice. Just look at that, and it just looks so natural. I'm using this Patrick Tar brush. For anyone that wants to know, this is his contour brush that was came out with the sculpting. I'm gonna do my forehead. This brush is so good, by the way. It's so nice, but obviously it's not. A must. Oof. I really. Danessa Marks has been killing it, by the way. But yeah, as what Beauty Chris was saying, she was like, YouTube has changed, and she was like saying she did, she doesn't even consume beauty anymore. And I was reading my comments yesterday. Even like Kim was saying that all the black creators like are hardly posting on YouTube. Like Jackie Hardy posts. Who else doesn't really post? I don't know. But, like I watch Jackie. I think Shayla does post now and again. But everyone's on TikTok, and I just feel like is YouTube dying, guys? Like. I don't want it to die, I love YouTube, but do you guys think YouTube is dead? I would love to hear your comments. Please comment down below because the comments aren't the same. I feel like, I don't know, black creators on here have to work literally a thousand times harder. And like, the videos you see that go viral on here, which is so hard to go viral on YouTube. Like, if you go viral on YouTube, you're definitely doing a madness, dating a celeb, having a baby for a rapper. It has to be one of these kind of things. Otherwise, it's just so hard. The base is basing. The base looks insane. Oh, who's the hot man? I would hate to think that YouTube is honestly dead. Um, I just feel like we're in a time now where social media is really shifting. Instagram is moving madder than ever. Um, I know people are like kind of tired of like the algorithms and stuff. I know I hate. I don't feel like talking about social media too much because I just feel like it's kind of like anything it is what you make it the more you put into it the more you're gonna see Not, mm, it depends i just feel like it is it actually is like so when people ask me about how to get into social media you really just have to grift and grind but i don't want youtube to die it's just oh i don't know guys I honestly don't know i'm gonna try and still be consistent as i can on here i know like the vlogs haven't really been vlogging as they normally do but um i don't know like again you have to put your energy into things that you can, you can be rewarded from i feel like social media can be such like a, a tox not a toxic place but a really damaging place because you put all this effort in and you upload and you pay editors and then it'll be the people that like edit a video in like 10 minutes and be doing the be doing the least they're making avocado and bread and like going around with their boyfriend doing nothing getting a million views or going to 100k in less than a year and it's not jealousy and you can't compare yourself to people because comparison is a thief of joy but it's like if those people are doing the bare minimum and i'm breaking my neck managing tiktok youtube instagram and having trying to have a social life and you know settle down and get married <laughs> ah, it's just a bit crazy but i can't complain because Social media has definitely given me things where I've been like, wow. And like, things are coming where I've been like, this is something I've always dreamed of. So when you guys see, that's why sometimes I have to like, thank all of you guys for always being supportive and everyone that's always supported me, do you know what I mean? To set my face, not a new product, but this is a makeup revolution brush. I'm gonna just use my makeup forever. I love this powder so much. 
like it's called the velvet matte skin powder i just i just wish makeup forever was more prominent in the uk because makeup forever products are honestly just amazing look how nice this brush this is a makeup evolution i'm not sure what brush it is but i did a job with them recently and i really really like their brushes so nice you know what i just realized i haven't set under my eyes it's not creasing that much but it looks really really good wait let me like i actually forgot i just feel like i'm not sure if it's the hermes bomb that's matte but my skin is giving very matte i haven't used a setting spray or anything and i'm using the makeup forever powder in y405 i love this one so much it's a perfect golden shade i think you now can get makeup forever on your full unique and look fantastic one of the two but i'm not sure if they have this powder if not you can get it off guru makeup emporium in london i do same day delivery and it's honestly just such a banging color always press this in but you can use this by itself but um, i'm not gonna try and let me get this down like i'm active on tiktok you are not following me i always do tiktok lives i just love tiktok you just gotta go you got you gotta go with the money was sad and youtube i don't get a lot of ads from youtube which i have got one actually coming up no have i no i haven't no have i no i haven't i haven't what we're talking about. i don't get a lot of ads from youtube which i don't mind because I feel like brands don't really necessarily, especially UK brands, don't necessarily do a lot of ads on YouTube. Like, it's very, like, hit or miss. But I just, I just do YouTube because I, like, I love you guys. Like, I love you guys. Like, I love seeing you in the comments. I love seeing regular watches. Just let me guys know if you if you are watching long-form content or if you're not or what the, what the tea is. So, anyway, I'm going to use a new bronzer. So, Jacqueline Hill actually sent me her new um what's the range called it's like her new bronzing range and this one is called daycation and this one is called undress so as you can see which one do you think i'm gonna go for daycation this one looks a whole lot warmer um i'm really impressed with these bronzers um it's not a first impressions because i have used them yesterday and i really really like them um i'm gonna use another makeup revolution um look like look how pigmented they are so pigmented like and there's not much to back i'm literally just gonna press this into the skin and then swipe but not too hard and look i'm gonna do one side obviously i have got a cream contour on it's just what i do i never wear bronzers by themselves i have to do a cream contour it just makes it look so much smoother like look at this side and look at that side you can see the difference this this bronzer jacqueline i'm sorry you killed it with this bronzer like i'm obsessed i am freaking obsessed like look how smooth it looks you can just see that it just i just this is where i stopped so you can, it just looks like oh, i don't know it looks like a bronze buttery oh, it's, just, it's just giving the vibes you know and then we're gonna do the other side i'm just gonna press so mm, i just love this bronzer i want to add some contour to my face i'm gonna use her darker shade in Let's, let's be happy she's got range the range is actually quite stunning um this is actually a lot darker actually, i should have used a smaller brush for this but it's fine such a nice contour shade the compact's nice as well i like that it's brown because when bronzers are white it's like why are my hands getting dirty i'm just using the edge of the brush i'm also gonna do my eyes i'm gonna do i'm not sure what to do but i'm definitely gonna use this bronzer first in the crease i'm going to use daycation because that's the one we used in our cheeks so i'm just going to jump into a palette i'm going to do my eyes quickly and then i'm just going to put this color on here something just super almost like lighter my skin tone just to set the shade i really want to go for something i just love like a minimal warm beautiful eye i try to play around with cool tones but cool tones just make me look crazy especially on deeper skin tones cool tones can look quite cute but no oh this color and then just gonna go in with this brown and literally just stamp it on my lash line like this oh oh my god this brown is so nice oh like that so just to make it a bit more winged i'm literally inspired by my friend watching my friend tutorial tweeze and tutorial i just saw a post on tiktok i'm like let me try that i probably want to do it as good as her 
But I'm like, okay, tweet, let me just get into this tutorial, okay? Oh, wow. So I was taking a mid-tone brown. Yeah, guys, thanks for all the support on the eyelash video as well. Hopefully, we can get the lashes in the US. But I'm just happy that they're out, honestly. Like, it's honestly such a big deal for me, especially to do a second pair of lashes. These were a bit more dramatic, but I'm glad I have, like, a natural pair and another pair. But, you know, for Sip and Slay, I don't know. Maybe it's that I just need to be a bit more... Not that I'm not excited for it, maybe like a different format. I know we just do celebrity news, ask Gary. Maybe we can change it somehow. I know someone on TikTok likes and invite subscribers onto it, but I don't know. Maybe I could try and change it somehow. Maybe do a different format. Let me know if you have any ideas. Maybe we can go in a different direction. Let me know what you think. How's my little eye look? I did some corner lashes. I cut my bad and bougie lashes. Oh, no, what powder did I use yesterday? Oh, I know what powder. Guys, I've got a new powder to show you. It's, more, it's not new. I've showed you this powder before, but I used it yesterday and I thought, Gabby, you need to give Huda Beauty a rest. So this is by Jacqueline Hill. This is actually almost finished. I need to buy a new one. And it's called Deep Apricot. I'm actually going to take this Trigwell Cosmetic Sponge, press the powder in like this. It's so hard to like do catch-ups and do makeup at the same time. Maybe I should have chose something a bit more less intense, but it's fine. Like, I love the colour of this powder. I put some at the back of my hand, like here. And I'm literally... Oh, my eye is getting a bit red. I think it was like I poked my eye in. It's the perfect amount of golden. That's what it looks like. It's so golden, it's a joke. I'm not going out, so I'm not going to use a super strong setting spray. So I'm going to use the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Never lets me down. Okay, so the face is really fucking sitting. Like, I've been mean, loving my base recently. I'm not sure. The Morphe setting spray definitely just adds a bit more dew to the face. But I think the base is sitting for blusher. I was going to use a liquid blusher, but I need to calm down using the Red Beauty blushers. Like, calm down. So this is a new benefit blusher. I actually launched this when I went to Hawaii. And this is called Tara. Tara, yeah. Um, I've never been the biggest fan of benefit blushes because I've never really done anything for us. But this colour, I can get into because it's not, like, super, like... In your face but it also kind of adds like a highlight you just see it's so nice that's what it looks like it's kind of it, it does look like a terracotta color but it's not as deep but i love this because it doesn't even look that shimmery it's just got like gold reflex i have got deeper colors from them but i just feel like it wouldn't go see how pretty is that it's just like the perfect hint and plus I don't have to add highlighter as well if I don't want to, but you could go with highlighter. Okay, so we're literally almost done, guys. Sorry, this has been a rant slash new product. I just feel like I'm, I'm not a good multitasker. I'm definitely going to try and get ready, I do a get ready with me live. I think it'll be easier because I'll be able to look at the questions while doing my makeup. I, to, I haven't used a live scram live stream for a laptop for... When's the last time I did a sip and snake? Definitely was about three months ago. I'm going to use this Kevin O'Quan lip liner in Pure. This lip liner is so good. I literally got a new one from Space and K. And then I'm gonna go in with this nude lipstick. Ooh! Oh my god, this lipstick is basically like um, a dupe for a bit like Mona Lisa Cameo, but it doesn't break. Mine is a cameo by Gucci. Oh, how nice is that? Oh, this is what you call a cohesive look. Oh, what a, should I put a gloss on? Shall I put a gloss on? Mm. I'm trying to picture, do I do gloss? Do I not? Let's do a gloss. So good. Smells like, smells like hazelnut. This gloss. Ah, oh, hi, God. Oh, so nice. It's just like the perfect amount of shine without feeling too wet on the lip. So this is the finished look, guys. What do you guys think? I think the skin looks so good. I've, 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 I've coined this video summer essentials. This turned into a full on, full glam, a soft glam going out look. It definitely isn't for the daytime. It's definitely like, actually no, you could wear it in the daytime. You could just do it minus the gloss. And like, you don't have to do, you can take elements of it, but I just really wanted to do a catch up video. Um, more videos will be coming. I'm back, I'm just trying to, 
get this routine on focus. I, I'm gonna try and implement something where I can maybe try and like contact you all when like there's a sip and slay. Cause I know there's a YouTube community page, but if there was, if there was one thing where I could maybe get a message out to all of you, that would be amazing. If you guys have any ideas, maybe like a mailing list or like, I don't know, something like that, because that'd be so much easier that then like you get the messages to your phones or like the email. Sometimes I feel like YouTube really do be playing me because a lot of people don't even see my videos anymore. But um, let me guys know what you think of the look anyway. I love the eyes, love the lipstick, love the gloss. The MS foundation, it's, it's actually really nice. Like it must have a matte finish because my skin looks so matte. Oh, wow. But anyway, let me know, guys know what you think in the comments about everything I've said. I'm still gonna be here and we've got some exciting things coming next month. But um, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for always like, you know, commenting, being supportive. Love you guys so much.